Now, I don't know whether or not this comes as a surprise to anybody watching, but I've never actually owned a Line 6 amplifier. I suppose we could call that spider trauma. However, times have changed, and modeling technology has gotten to the point where it's leaps and bounds above where it was when I first became aware of it. And just look at how many players are adopting things like the Helix floor or rack into their rigs, the HX effects, the HX stomp. When my friends at Sweetwater reached out to me about checking one of these out and showing it off to you all, I jumped at the chance, not just to get my feet wet with something new from Lion 6 in the amplifier arena, but for something else that's been kind of getting at me a little bit lately. It doesn't matter where you live in the world right now. The sad fact is that our dollars just aren't going as far as they once did. And a lot of players are needing more value added on to their dollars when they're making purchases. And I've never really dipped my toe into budget amplifiers quite like this. I've had one or two in the past, but ultimately I got rid of them because I have my bigger, more expensive amps that I like using in the context of my workflow. So why exactly would I want something like this? Well, I personally intend to answer that question for myself and you all today. Why would I want an amplifier like this, a budget amplifier with modeling and a ton of features, but at the same time is very different from what I normally use? But the real question we're going to answer today is does the Catalyst 60 give you all, the players out there watching this video right now, more for your money than what you might think when you first look at it? One quick thing before we get to our feature and spec rundown, I need to say thank you to Sweetwater for sponsoring this video. I know Sweetwater, you know Sweetwater. They're one of the best musical instrument retailers in the world, bar none. I've been shopping with them for years and have purchased pretty much everything you see in my studio from them. They are one of the best. I can't say enough good things about them. And I'm also a Sweetwater affiliate. So if you like the stuff that you heard in this video today, or if there's anything else like picks or strings that you need to pick up, you can use my affiliate links in the description box down below and I get a small commission to help support the channel. And with that out of the way, let's talk about the specs. The Catalyst 60 is a two-channel, 1x12, 60-watt combo guitar amplifier that comes loaded with a 4-ohm, custom-designed Line 6 speaker. It does indeed feature two channels that you can switch between on the faceplate of the amp with button A and button B. However, there is a manual button that bypasses the presets you save to channel A and channel B and allows your sound to reflect wherever you have the control set on the faceplate of the amplifier. So in a weird way, it's actually a three channel amp. At the far left of the control panel, we have our guitar input, and right next to that is our selector knob. Now you can look at this as essentially a six-way switch that gives you access to six different amp models that come loaded into the Catalyst. These amps have some DNA shared with the Helix family of products from Line 6, and when you look at them, they're given very general terms. They're not necessarily going after a specific amplifier, even though when you read the descriptions of what the amplifiers are trying to get at sound wise you can kind of guess what they are but you can more think of it as the line six flavor of these popular amplifier types completing the gain section you have the gain control and the boost control now gain is of course your preamp gain your saturation your grit your crunch stuff like that but what's really cool is that each amplifier has a specifically tuned boost circuit that runs in front of the preamp. You can turn it on and off with the push button above the boost knob and then you control the level with the knob. And each boost circuit for each of the six amps sounds different. It's not like you're getting a tube screamer in front of the clean amp and in front of the high gain amp. They're both very different boost circuits that add on gain in a very nice way. From the gain section, we move to the EQ section, and you get the full complement of EQ controls that you would expect on any amplifier. Bass, mid, treble, and presence, all doing exactly what you think they do. And finishing off the control panel, we have the section I refer to as the master section, with channel volume, effect, reverb, and master volume. You can think of channel volume sort of like you would think of any other volume knob on any amplifier that you already own. It's just the overall loudness of what you're going to hear. And the master volume is really where you can play with the 
actual like loudness. You can think of using both of these controls in conjunction with one another to sort of level match your channel A and channel B preset and then have a very even volume between both. Now reverb is pretty self-explanatory in that it sets the level and mix of the reverb that you have selected. You turn it on and off with the push button located above the knob and you have six different reverbs to choose from. And then we come to the effect control, which basically does the same thing that the reverb knob does in that it's setting the overall level or mix of whatever effect you have chosen. Now, what is great is that this isn't just a mixed bag of six random effects like chorus phaser. You actually have three different effect styles that you can cycle through and six different types of effects within each bank. And then between the two on off buttons for the effect and the reverb, you have a tap tempo button. So you can set tap tempo right there on top of the amplifier if you decide to go that route. Now I want to avoid front loading this video with a bunch of talking. I really feel like we need to hear these amplifier styles because let's face it, if these things don't sound good at their core, forget the reverbs, forget the effects and forget all the other stuff. It's not going to matter if the thing doesn't sound good. So I'm going to mic this thing up with an SM57 slightly off of the cone of the speaker and back maybe about, I don't know, two fingers worth. And we're just going to cycle through the six different amplifiers. I'll play it with all controls at noon and then tweak it a little bit to get a sound that I think sounds fun.
to say that the models in the Catalyst 60 sound fantastic. The clean, the boutique, the dynamic, those are the ones that really surprised me the most. Not that clean modeling amps haven't sounded good in the past, but this one feels better than previous iterations. And I'm further surprised that I like the boutique, the dynamic, and the crunch as much as I do. That was always a shortcoming of modeling amps from the past, where the clean stuff and the high gain stuff sounded fantastic, but the mid gain stuff, the crunchy stuff, just kind of felt you wanting more or left a lot to be desired. And yeah, I did incorporate some delay and some reverb here and there because I just kind of felt like it, to be honest with you. But because I incorporated some delay and reverb, this now gives us a cool opportunity to listen to some of the other effects that are built into the Catalyst. I'm just gonna roll with a clean tone and we're gonna cycle through a few that I think sound fun. But there's one thing that I wanna let you know, and that's how you can cycle through the different effects types just on the faceplate of the amp. Like I said earlier, to turn on and off both the reverb and the effects, you use the push button located above each knob. But if you wanna cycle through delay, modulation, and pitch effects, this is what you need to do. First, you're gonna press down and hold the on off button for the effects knob. Then while you're holding that knob, you're gonna hit the tap tempo button next to it so that you can cycle through those different banks. You'll see the LED change color depending on delay, modulation, or pitch effects. Now line six says to keep that on off button depressed while you are selecting the different effects, which you actually select via the selector encoder where you chose your different amp type. However, I found that this actually ends up working as well. Once you have selected the bank of effects that you want to choose from, then press and hold down on the on off foot switch and something's gonna happen where you'll see that the selector knobs lights around the ring, they get a little bit dimmer. And I've noticed that that is where you're now in effect selection mode. And if you press and hold down on it for like three seconds, you can then let go and then turn the selector knob to find the modulation, the delay, or the pitch sound that you want. And once you've found the effect that you want to get out of select mode, just press the on off button again, and you are ready to go and play and start selecting instead the amp types or manipulating the knobs however you see fit. So let's hear some of these effects. There's a lot in there, and these are the ones that I think are the most fun. <laughs> The core amp sounds are awesome. 
The effects sound really good, and some of them, even though a little strange, are really fun. And there's tons of different reverbs to choose from, which is fantastic. I really think we could end the video here and you guys would be sold, but there's a lot more to the Catalyst 60 than just what you see on the amplifier as you see it here right now. Through the magic of editing, I have switched the amplifier to its back panel where we see that there is a lot more to this amp than just being a good sounding modeling amp with some built in effects. There's a lot of features on this back panel that make it a bit more of a pro level tool. On the far left of the back panel of the amplifier, we have our on off switch and our IEC cable input where we're gonna get our electricity from. There's a nice little vent and right in the middle, this is one of my favorite features right here. It's the out output power switch. You can actually switch the Catalyst 60 from its full 60 watts down to 30 watts, a half a watt, and finally, just mute the speaker entirely. Say you want to use the, oh, I don't know, right over here, the headphone output. You can practice in headphones if that's what you want. Right next to the USB port, we have a TRS jack where you can plug in a two button line six foot switch. Now, I honestly have no idea why companies that make these amps with small foot switches don't include them. That's my one big bugaboo with this amp is that that foot switch, despite being really simple, wasn't included. Next to that, we have a eighth inch TRX aux in, which allows us to plug in any manner of playback device, say MP3 player, a CD player, for those of us who still have CD players, you can do so here. And of course, right next to that is that headphone jack that I mentioned earlier. Then finally, my two favorite features on an amp like this. First, an effects loop, send and return jacks as we know them to be. It's cool that amps like this are starting to integrate effects loops and acknowledging the fact that yeah, there are pedals out there that sound just as good as what we're putting into here and we might as well give players the option to patch things in if they so choose. But what I love is the fact that there is an effects loop mode and a power amp in mode. This essentially will bypass the preamp of the Catalyst 60 and just let you use the power amp and the speaker, say you have a great pedal preamp that you love the sound of, and you just really need a powered speaker cap. This basically turns the Catalyst 60 into a powered speaker cap. And finally, we come to the direct output, which is XLR rather than TRS or quarter inch. Every company that does DI outputs on their amps and uses an XLR jack is a smart company. So good job, Line 6. Thank you very much for that. Oh, and there's also a ground lift switch on here in case you encounter any unwanted noise or hum or hiss or whatever. Now, one thing a lot of companies are doing right now that make amplifiers like this is include an editor app that you can download for free on the company's website. And it gives you an extra layer of adjustability and tone shaping options. And I gotta say, Line 6 did a really good job with their Catalyst Edit app. And you can see from the screenshot that there are a lot more parameters to your presets than what's available to you on the faceplate of the amplifier. You can turn on and off and set decay and threshold for a built-in noise gate. And you can even adjust things like the sag of the amplifier's power section and the bias of the amplifier. And also the bias X, depending on the model that you have selected. You can see also that we have a lot more control over the built-in effects on the Catalyst. Not just adjusting level and mix, but things like delay time or rhythmic subdivisions of the tap tempo, eighth note, dotted eighth note, triplet, and quarter note delays, feedback, rate of modulation, depth of modulation, and even sample rate of the delays? Now what I wanna do now is show you six presets that I've come up with using the Catalyst Edit app. And I'm not even gonna record the speaker. I'm actually going to turn off the speaker and utilize the cabinet and microphone simulations that are inside Catalyst Edit. And I am blown away by the flexibility you have just with three different cabinet types and all the different microphones at your disposal. I wish more cab and mic sims that were simple had this much flexibility to them. It is so awesome to have. <laughs>
As we wrap up our look at the Line 6 Catalyst 60 amplifier, did we successfully answer those questions that we asked at the beginning of the video? Well, for one thing, I definitely see a reason for a player like me that has big amps and big tube amps and more expensive gear to have something like this. This is a great grab and go option, and it's the fact that it's inexpensive is just all the better. I'm able to set a clean sound and a dirty sound that I can easily take this to, say, a small club date where I don't wanna have to bring a big cab and head, and I can get sounds that get me through an entire set of my band's music. But now we can focus on you guys. Does the Catalyst 60 deliver more for your money? Man, if there's any others that deliver more than this at $300 in a 1x12 combo amp, I haven't seen them yet. Or maybe I have, and maybe I'm just being a little bit biased because this is here and they're not. I don't really know, but I am definitely impressed with what I've seen. And I think whether you're a beginning player that just wants a really good, consistent amplifier, or maybe you're intermediate and you're starting to get your toes wet into that songwriting and creation world, maybe you're living in a different area where you're in an apartment, maybe you have roommates, maybe you just like to play late at night and you can't disturb your family. There's a lot you can do with this to work in any kind of situation, living or playing wise, and you're getting great guitar tones every single time you plug in. But of course, all of this is just my opinion on the amplifier, and I wanna hear from all of you. What amp style did you like best from the Catalyst, and what was your favorite sound that we came up with? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below, and if you have some questions, ask them there as well. I'll do my best to get back to as many of you as possible. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna help me in my endeavors to make better guitar videos for all players out there, please consider joining my email newsletter club. I send links to videos just like this direct to your email inbox without algorithms getting in the way. Just go to seanpiercejohnson.com slash email, enter your name and email, and give me two or three days to get you into the system. And once you're in, you're in. But if you wanna go one step above and beyond that, I am a Sweetwater affiliate. So if you liked this amplifier or there's anything else you need at Sweetwater, use my affiliate links in the description down below. I get a small commission from Sweetwater that helps support and fund the channel and I can keep making better videos for you. Thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I really appreciate you spending the time. And until we see each other again, I'm Sean Pierce Johnson wishing you all watching great tone, great health, and of course, 
happy stomping. Cheers, friends. God bless.